Hey, Dr. Goldberg here, just doing a little quick uh, rundown on anemia. You have to know anemia when you finish our rotation. Uh, think of anemia like this. It's a triple-pronged approach. You're either going to have blood loss, you're going to have hemolytic anemia, or you're going to have bone marrow dysfunction. Blood loss, uh, we work it up simple. You get stool guax times two, you check a UA. Obviously, it's sometimes uh, people have melanin, it's a no-brainer. For hemolytic anemia, we're checking high retic counts, we're checking LDH levels, we're checking for, um, for autoimmune disease. And then for bone marrow dysfunction, we're checking for macrocytosis. They may have hypothyroidism, they may have B12 deficiency, they may have folate deficiency. We're checking for an anemia chronic disease. They may have a low serum erythropoietin level. You know, they've got some kind of a chronic collagen vascular disease, or if they've got like chronic rheumatoid disease, or if they've got endocarditis. Um, but we're also checking for microcytic disease, uh, such as iron deficiency anemia, and then we'll check the ferritin level. Um, so those are the main causes of bone marrow dysfunction, along with a myelothysic process, such as from cancer, um, multiple myeloma. Uh, we check an SPEP and a UPEP. So workup for anemia is pretty straightforward. Stool guiax, urine, reticulocyte count, LDH, Coombs testing, and then for bone marrow dysfunction, TSH, B12, folate, ferritin, uh, erythropoietin level, SPEP and a UPEP. That's going to cover the vast majority of all your anemias. Uh, there's Obviously, other very uh, important anemias that are out there, but uh, this is a, a, a one of the easy ways to work it up. Uh, until next time, Dr. G, thank you.